This week, I heard about a terrible tragedy in which the two adult daughters of a Jewish family were killed in a fire while the family was away on summer vacation. It's hard to know how to deal with such horrible, tragic events. The sadness is almost overwhelming. Yet this week, as we commemorate Tisha B'Av, perhaps we can learn something from this commemorative event about how to deal with tragedy and sadness. Tisha B'Av is the day in which we recall the destruction of the temple, as well as the day that Jews commemorate many tragedies in our history. This day is mired in sadness. From the beginning, we are fasting, we are engaging in mourning practices, and we read the Book of Lamentations, which describes from A to Z, from Aleph to Taf, the many horrors endured by the people living in Jerusalem when the Romans destroyed the city and its gorgeous temple. So we read these words to remember the details of the tragedy, and we do so in a mournful trope like this. Echa yashva badad, ha'ir am, ha'ita ke'almana. Alas, lonely sits the city once great with people. She that was great among the nations is become like a widow. The trope that we read this in is intentionally sorrowful and deeply tragic, an inversion of the trope that we use to read Megillat Esther on Purim, a story that talks about the reversal of our fortunes, the change from potential tragedy to great fortune. Here we read the, in a more mournful trope that reminds us no, there is no reversal here. There is no rescuing from tragedy this time. It is simply horror. It is simply sorrow. So what do we do with this deep sorrow that we feel on this day and so many others? Well, I came across a teaching from the Piazetsna Rebbe of Warsaw, Poland, and I came across it through the Devar Torah of my great friend and teacher, Rabbi Lauren Tuckman. And she cites the Piazetsna as saying that emotions are the keys to our soul. Any emotion from joy to deep sorrow is actually a doorway to connection with the divine. And that if we truly let it in and truly feel it, we can better connect with our compassion and thus with the divine and with our own souls. It's better, she says, than feeling the numbness that we're tempted to feel when we encounter horrible headlines or are overwhelmed by the sadness in the world and the injustice. Rather than going numb, we must feel the sadness. We must sit with our sorrow and our heartbreak because that is the only doorway back to compassion, the only way back to hope. Numbness can never lead us there. So on this Tisha B'Av, I hope we give ourselves a chance to sit with sorrow we may feel in our lives to allow ourselves to grieve and to mourn that which we have lost in both our collective and our personal history, and to know that this is a doorway to the divine, a pathway back to our hope and our souls.